of the session on the lab on small farmers, big business. That's an initiative that GIZ is involved in. Could you shortly explain what this initiative is about? Small Farmers Big Business is a partnership among development organizations, European development organizations, European private sector companies or representatives and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. So the main partners are the um, Europe, African, Caribbean, Pacific Liaison Committee, COLEACP, the Development Organization of the Netherlands, SNV, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, GIZ, German International Cooperation, and the French Development Agency, AFD. So those organizations have joined forces during last year's European Development Ideas with the idea to cooperate on projects dealing with um, value chain development, particularly focusing on smallholders. And what is the what is the idea? The, the session was yes. talking about best practices, yes. lessons yeah. learned. So what is yeah. the objective yeah. of, of the, the well, the, the first objective is to do some joint advocacy for the interests of smallholders with a specific focus, an initial focus on Sub-Sahara Africa. The second objective is to share best practices, lessons learned when it comes to cooperation with private sector companies, both in Africa and in Europe. And the third objective is to upscale our existing projects, which we do implement through our various organizations, and to come up with a joint a common approach, uh, which we would, for example, implement uh, with EU funds or funds from the private sector. Yeah. Interesting. And this, yeah. this upscaling that you mentioned yeah. in terms of the third objective, that mm. also came back mm. in the session a few times, was mentioned yes. by some of the mm. participants as mm the key challenge, you may have yeah. some interesting yeah. pilots and successful yeah. islands, yes. uh, but then how do you scale up? So yeah. what are yeah. some of the key elements, the keys to success of actually yeah. coming yeah. to that upscaling yeah. of linking farmers to yeah. markets and yeah. making farmers benefit from yeah. Um, yeah. In, the, in the yeah. value chain? I think one of the key criteria or the essence actually of making those projects successful is an established cooperation or collaboration with the private sector. So the advantage of our partnership is that all the organizations which I mentioned do already implement public-private partnerships. So we have a number of private sector stakeholders including retailers but also foundations like for example the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation that do already co-finance our interventions in the field. We have already co-financed uh, projects co-financed by the European Commission. We cooperate with retailers uh, Metro, for example, is one of the uh, retailers, or Aholt, uh, Royal Aholt. So the idea is basically to use those existing projects and to upscale them. Just to give you an idea about the figures, if we just take the example of Sub-Sahara Africa, the organizations which already uh, cooperate with smallholders and who are part of the Small Farmers Big Business platform are already reaching some 4 million farmers. So there are 4 million individual farmers or households already being actively engaged in public-private partnership projects. So the idea is simple just to upscale those interventions by reaching an additional 4 or 5 million so that we can reach a number as high as 10, 12 or 15 million farmers in Sub-Sahara Africa.